Idiapam pronunciation Tamil Idiapam Malayalam Idiapam Kannada Idiapam is a traditional cuisine originating from the Indian subcontinent consisting of rice flour pressed into noodle form and then steamed The food popular in Sri Lanka and India also spread to Southeast Asia where it is called putu mayam in Malaysian and putu mayang in Indonesian Sometimes it is called string hoppers in English History The Story of Our Food", a book written by K. T. Achaya, an eminent Indian food scientist and food historian, states that idiapam and appam were already known in ancient Tamil country around 1st century AD. As per references in the Sangam literature, the origins of these dishes may stem from Sri Lanka, northern and eastern Sri Lanka, where a similar rice flour noodle is served with sugar and coconut, and sometimes banana too, and is known as idiapam. Distribution Idiapam is culinary specialty throughout Tamil Nadu, parts of Kerala, Sri Lanka and southern areas of Karnataka, it is also a culinary staple in Sri Lanka. The name idiapam derives from the Tamil word idi, meaning «broken down», and appam, meaning «pancake». Pronounced as e ap pam the dish is also, frequently, called nulapam or nulputu from the Tamil, Malayalam word nul, meaning string or thread". In coastal areas of Karnataka like Mangalore and Udupi it is also termed semij or seme da adai in Tulu, it is eaten with tuluva chicken and fish curries called gassi, and also a coconut milk dish called rasayana. It is also a common breakfast item in Malaysia, where it is called putamayam, typically served with brown sugar and grated coconut. Putu mayam in Malay or idiapam in Tamil is a dish from southern India. It is popular in southern India, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Singapore. Preparation It is made of rice flour or ragi flour, finger millet flour salt and water. It is generally served as the main course at breakfast or dinner together with a curry potato, egg, fish or meat curry and coconut chutney. It is served with coconut milk and sugar in the Malabar region of Kerala. It is not usually served at lunch. In other parts of Kerala, Sri Lanka and Tamil Nadu, it is mostly eaten with spicy curries. Using wheat flour in its preparation gives it a brownish hue. Mix rice flour with hot water, optionally add ghee, season with salt. Knead into a smooth dough. Fill an idiopum press or a sieve with the dough and press the noodles onto banana leaves or directly into an idli steamer. Add a little grated coconut if desired. Steam for 5 to 10 minutes. The idiapam is served with coconut gratings and coconut milk. The process for making putu mayam consists of mixing rice flour or idiapam flour with water and or coconut milk and pressing the dough through a sieve to make vermicelli like noodles. These are steamed usually with the addition of juice from the aromatic pandan leaf, scrupine as flavoring. The noodles are served with grated coconut and jaggery or preferably gur date palm sugar. In some areas, gula malaka coconut palm sugar is the favorite sweetener. Putu piring is a Malaysian version of putu mayam in which the rice flour dough is used to form a small cake around a filling of coconut and gur or jaggery. <inaudible> Serving In Malaysia and Singapore, putu mayam and its relatives are commonly sold as street food from market stalls or carts, as well as being made at home, and are usually served cold. In Indonesia, putu mayam is called putu mayang and is served with palm sugar mixed with coconut milk. This dish may be eaten for breakfast with a vegetable stew or avial, or a fish curry, etc. The same liking for serving the slightly sweet putu mayam, putu piring, or chendol with savory dishes also occurs in Malaysia and Singapore. Idiapam is typical of Tamil Nadu, Kerala and other southern Indian states, as well as Sri Lanka. A very finely ground, commercial idiapam flour is sold as a sort of «instant» way to make all of these dishes. See also Kueh Tutu Cuisine of Singapore Malaysian cuisine Indian cuisine 
Indonesian cuisine List of steamed foods <laughs>